If you live in the UK, you'll have heard that today is a little bit different than usual. Because today, the sky looks like this. The sun today has been absolutely mental. Right guys, just pulling up at the post office this morning to take, well, this parcel into the post office. That's what I need to do right now. Um, I need to send this post. I do so many giveaways for you guys. Oh, by the way, talking about giveaways. Speaking of giveaways, the winner I picked for the iPhone 8 Plus giveaway hasn't replied at all, guys. Good. So I'm going to be picking a new winner of the iPhone 8 giveaway at the end of this video. So make sure you watch it, and also make sure you reply to the DM. I'm going to give you 24 hours this time, I'm only joking. As I've said, you'd literally shoot yourself in the foot if you'd realised you'd won the giveaway and just not claimed it. Picking a new winner for this bad boy this evening. Speaking of iPhones, I'm going to make today's vlog about iPhones, but first, I've got a quick meeting. Star, mate. Thank you very much. Right then, mate. Yes, I'll uh, I'll be in touch uh, about the uh, location of the gym. Text me sizes for the guy who's quite big. Yeah, I'll be in touch with him. Yeah, see if I can get him down, bro. Appreciate it, mate. Thank you very much. Meeting over at Mastings. Picked up a load of clothes. They do me like 50% discount in there, so shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> The reason I had a meeting at Mazdings today, the clothing shop that I always go and get my clothes from, is because, well, they want a promotional video shooting, and of course, they want me to do it for them, so that was a little meeting about that. I've had to do this shot with the skateboard about 15 times because the amount of people that have come up to me saying, are you Mars Bar? Genuinely, genuinely, like, if you're seeing this, don't be afraid to come up to me. I don't bite. I'm very nice. Most of the time. Do not be afraid, young people. <laughs> Right then guys, back into the office. Bought a load of stuff from the shop and obviously I tried it on in Mazdings, but you know, it's kind of just a bit rushed, so. Before I go ahead and take off all of the labels, I got this really, really nice like puffer jacket, which is just, well, it's just really nice considering it's getting up to like winter now. It's getting colder and darker earlier and I don't like that. But I really, but I really, really like this. Okay, now this one's gorgeous. Oh wow, look at that, that's sick. Look at that. Day 522. Mars Bar is now currently making another gaming setup. He's already made about 15 million gaming setups, but he's making another one. Oh yeah, I like this one. It's all cozy and nice and warm. I might keep it on. And then I, and then I got a good for nothing tea. I bought these items of clothing just to tide me over until my own clothing line comes out because as soon as that drops... By the way guys, I'm not doing what every other YouTuber does and just puts their name on a white t-shirt. We're doing, doing something better than that. So as soon as all of my new clothing line and new merch drops, guys, I'll let you guys know in that is what I'll be wearing. So guys, a very strange Amazon package arrived. And the reason why it's very strange is because it is an Amazon package, but well, for number one, I know what's inside it. And number two, it's an Amazon package that's not from Amazon. And inside it is an iPhone 10 or iPhone X box. Oh, here it is. This is great banter. <laughs> So don't get excited guys, this isn't like an iPhone X, like I don't have an actual iPhone X, I don't think anybody does. I have a good relationship over here in England with a with a mobile carrier called EE and I was speaking to one of their high up guys and I'm really not sure if I'm going to get in trouble by saying this. But this mobile carrier EE, who I'm really close to, they said that they were filming an advert, you know, an advert for TV about the iPhone X, right? And Apple sends somebody out to them on set, right? With a briefcase with the phone inside it. This is how serious all of this advertising stuff is. And they said to me that whenever they wanted to get the phone out to use it in the advert, the Apple guy literally came over, 
undid the briefcase, gave them the iPhone X, and then as soon as they finished filming with it, it was back in the briefcase. Like, it didn't spend any time unless it was being shown to a camera outside the briefcase. Like, how serious is that? But nevertheless, guys, some dude got in touch with me and was like, Alex, I've got an iPhone X box. So, he said, do I want to check it out? And, well, it's upside down for a start. Yeah, and as suggested, there's no phones inside, just a pair of lightning AirPods and a charging cable. But the box looks like the sort of size of an iPhone X, like it says 16 gigabytes on it, and I'm sure they don't even do a 16 gigabyte iPhone X, so it's probably like a... But that's all like pretty legit, that. Like, that's, that feels sick. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I'm super interested in, in technology and in Apple specifically and in, I, I just love Apple, how they do everything. I, I love it. So it got me thinking and I've been looking into a lot about the iPhone X and I wanted to share my thoughts and I want you guys to share yours down in the comments section. Whether you are an iPhone user or an Android user, I just want your... Lots of people and even bigger tech reviewers on YouTube have come out and said that they feel like they're not even going to be able to get the iPhone X. A study done showed that an estimation of 150 million people are going to buy the iPhone X. And Apple, for the release date, are only making 10 million handsets. Only 10 million around the whole world. That's all that's going to be there. We can all sit here and chat things for days, but the bottom line of it is, 10 years ago when Apple unveiled the first iPhone, it revolutionized phones. It just, it did. Now it wasn't, now it wasn't the first smartphone. But that phone, the first iPhone, revolutionized how the next decade of phones were going to be. With screens, with touch screens, no keyboards, minimal buttons, cameras, you guys get the gist. And back then, Apple loved it because they were very far in the lead. But now, other companies like Samsung, LG, Huawei, Google, and my personal opinion now, there's Android phones out there that far surpass an iPhone in certain categories. And that's why in the last three to four years, the number of users on Android has increased. Now, some of the tech that's in the iPhone X, and specifically Face ID, is a very questionable thing. But, but what do you have to say when you're trying something brand new for the first time? You have to be completely fearless, and that's exactly what Apple are being. And it's either gonna work in their favor, or it's gonna come around and slap them on the arm. Now, a screen to body ratio is the amount of the screen size that fills the actual phone size. And with the iPhone X or iPhone 10, they're going for a fairly bezel-less design. Now, bezel-less phones have been around on the Android part for a, a long time now. But what Apple have been doing in the last three to four years, which is why they've fallen behind, is they've let Android do it first, and then they've kind of just copied, but then done it a little bit better. For example, I can hardly ever place an Android phone on a wireless charging pad without having to like get it perfectly right for it to charge. With my iPhone 8, I just chuck it on. No matter where it lands, it starts charging. That's an example of that. That it's just gonna be incredible. And I just don't think Apple would release a product that wasn't incredible. So for those of you that have been asking, that has been my thoughts on the iPhone X. I think it is going to be either one, a revolutionary masterpiece, or two, just a massive fail and I'm hoping I'm hoping for the masterpiece and also for the fail because it'll make a good video So I did come to the shop with the hopes for buying something to eat for tea But I think I've got loads of stuff in that I need to eat so instead of wasting the opportunity of coming to the shop I'm just gonna just gonna buy one of these This has definitely turned into me coming here to try and get something nice and healthy for tea to just an absolute disaster So guys, just consumed a little bit of food. I was getting quite hungry. Feeling a little bit like a pig though, guys, so. So guys, just a quick gym sesh. Sweet. When you're in the gym, I always have music on. So there we go guys, I feel a little less, a little less bad about eating that chocolate sometime in the near future that I bought in the shop earlier after that gym session. Right, it's time to pick the winner for the new iPhone. I'd like to give a massive shout out to one of you guys, one of my fans, one of my subscribers called George. He's brought to my attention that people are going round pretending to be me, telling them that they have won an item that I'm giving away in return for that person then giving across their mobile number and their address, assuming to probably attack them. So talking about me getting
getting in contact with you. If it's on any of my social media accounts, me telling you that you've won a giveaway, either it being on Snapchat, Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, what is it, uh, Twitter, absolutely anything that's a direct message of an account, click on the person's account that sent you that message and just double check that it is actually me before passing your information on. It's fairly evident all of my legitimate social media links and add-ons are down in the description. Okay guys, so now we've got that out of the way, I'm gonna pick a new winner. Here we go, so we're gonna go ahead and click winner and then click repick win. Shout out to George Maggin. Dude, I've dropped you a DM on Twitter. Please respond. Don't make me pick another winner. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed today's video, a like rating would be wicked. And if you still heard this point in the video, comment insane, really cheap LED panel to keep you lit. And I'll see you guys in what I'm hoping to be tomorrow's insane vlog. Guys, adios.